Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Here we are, our second week together. What do you think of the show so far? Tell me in the comments box and word of warning, I grew up on Morgan my wise. I hope that is all I have to say. Anyway, Genesis 14 sees our hero, Abram, and involved in the major battle and having to save his brother Lot. Will he manage to survive? Stay tuned to find out. Now, if you want to be a read on the show, all you have to do is send me a message to this email address and I'll send you further details on how you can do that. You can use that same address if you wish to discuss anything that I mention in the show or even if you would like to send me a prayer request. At the risk of repeating myself yet again, please be sure to subscribe. It makes this channel more noticeable among the YouTube community and hopefully helps more people to know that we exist and are here on a daily basis. Well, let's get things right and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 14 And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel king of Shinar, Ariok king of Elisar, Kedorlamer king of Elam, and Tidal king of nations, that these made war with Bera king of Sodom, and with Birsha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Admah, and Shemeber king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, which is Zoar. All these were joined together in the vale of Siddim, which is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Kedorlamer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year came Kedorlamer and the kings that were with him, and smote the Rephaims in Ashtaroth Karnaim, and the Zuzims in Ham, and the Emans in Sheva Kiriatham, and the Horites in their Mount Seir, unto El Paran, which is by the wilderness. And they returned and came to Amishpat, which is Kadesh, and smote all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites, that dwelled in Hazion Tamar. And there went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adma, and the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, the same as Zoar, and they joined battle with them in the vale of Siddim with Kedorlamer the king of Elam, and with Tidal king of nations, and Amraphel king of Shinar, and Ariok king of Elisar, four kings with five. And the vale of Siddim was full of slime pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there, and they that remained fled to the mountain. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their victuals, and went their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. And there came one that had escaped, and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, and brother of Aner, and these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and brought also again his brother Lot and his goods, and the women also, and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Kedorlamer and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheva, which is the king's dale. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed them, and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said unto the king of Sodom, I have lift up mine hand unto the Lord, the Most High God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread, even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest thou shouldst say, I have made Abram rich. Save only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men which went with me, 
Aner, Eshcol, and Mamre, let them take their portion.